In the bustling heart of Manhattan in 1975, a chilling discovery among the social elite unraveled a story that would later inspire a New York Times best-selling novel and the psychological thriller film Dead Ringers by the acclaimed director David Cronenberg. This narrative delves into the extraordinary lives of 45-year-old identical twins, Cyril and Stuart Marcus, whose tragic end came in a shared, drug-induced mental breakdown. Their rise to prominence in the medical field and subsequent precipitous fall from grace has captivated audiences for decades. Before exploring the peculiar circumstances surrounding the lives and deaths of the Marcus brothers, I encourage you to subscribe to The Cabin. Welcome to The Cabin. Fears. What was it you said? The Cabin. A small click for you means a great deal to us. Stuart and Cyril Marcus were born on June 6, 1930 and led lives that eerily mirrored each other until their concurrent demise in 1975. According to a report published in Esquire magazine in 1976, their childhood was spent together, they attended the same college, pledged to the same fraternity, and earned similar academic honors. As respected obstetrician gynecologists, they were affiliated with New York Hospital and Cornell University Medical College while running a successful private practice. The brothers were not just siblings with shared professions. They co-authored a landmark textbook on obstetrics and gynecology and published numerous articles in various medical journals on infertility, solidifying their reputation in the medical community. However, their promising careers took a dark turn as they descended into addiction. Over several years, their erratic behavior raised concerns among patients and colleagues. They neglected their professional duties, missing hospital shifts, canceling private practice appointments, and even impersonating each other in a bizarre theatrical display. Instances emerged where one twin would abandon a patient mid-examination, only for the other to return and complete it. Such unprofessional conduct led to interventions by the hospital board to protect patients and the hospital's reputation from potential malpractice. The situation worsened with alarming outbursts and uncontrolled fits of rage. Stuart Marcus, for instance, reportedly lashed out at a patient for a minor infraction. In another incident, one of the brothers removed an anesthetic mask from a patient during a procedure to use it himself, only to be replaced by his sluggish and groggy twin, further raising concerns among their colleagues. The revelation that the Marcus brothers had been operating under the influence of narcotics sent shockwaves through the medical community, highlighting the dire consequences of unchecked addiction. In June 1975, a month before their simultaneous demise, Stuart and Cyril were informed by the hospital that their long-standing affiliations, which spanned an impressive 15 years, would be terminated at the start of July. The brothers were given the opportunity to contest the decision before the board, but fate had a tragic twist in store. They never made it to their appeal, having already succumbed to their untimely end. During that week, residents of the twins' upscale Manhattan apartment complex began voicing complaints about a foul odor emanating from their shared residence. On July 17, 1975, the building's handyman made a grim discovery, the lifeless bodies of the brothers in separate rooms. The state of the apartment was a shocking testament to their descent into squalor. Refuse was strewn across the floor, half-eaten meals, half-empty soda bottles, and used plastic garment covers littered the living space a stark contrast to the brothers' once immaculate lifestyles. A chilling detail was an armchair, repurposed as a makeshift toilet in their last days, filled with fecal matter. Conjecture around the cause of their deaths led to theories of mental illness and a potential suicide pact. The spotlight then turned to Dr. Fuchs, the department chair at New York Hospital, during the Marcus twins' tenure. His seemingly apathetic approach and tolerance in the face of mounting evidence against the brothers' fitness to practice medicine came under intense scrutiny. At the very least, he appeared hesitant to intervene in their deteriorating private practice, raising questions about the hospital's commitment to patient safety. One could argue that the New York Hospital Cornell Medical Center jeopardized the lives and welfare of its patients by neglecting to act swiftly upon the first signs of the brothers' issues. Initially, the hospital adopted a stance of denial in response to the Marcus twins' unsettling deaths. However, under mounting pressure, it was compelled to defend its actions, reversing its prior refusal to discuss whether it had taken any measures to safeguard patients from potential malpractice or to support the troubled brothers. 
the New York Times reports on the twins' decline reignited an age-old debate on how to best shield the public from medical practitioners who may pose a risk to their health and safety. The enigma surrounding Cyril Marcus's death deepened with the release of his final autopsy report, which surprisingly revealed no traces of barbiturates or other narcotics. Furthermore, his body exhibited no signs of fatal convulsions, a common occurrence during withdrawal, leaving the actual cause of Cyril's demise shrouded in mystery. Barry Wood and Jack Geisland's psychological thriller novel, Twins, draws inspiration from the intriguing life and perplexing death of the Marcus brothers. A mere two years after the twins' unfortunate demise, Twins was published, quickly gaining recognition and achieving a notable feat of featuring on the New York Times bestseller list for 12 consecutive weeks. The gripping narrative was later repurposed into the critically acclaimed film Dead Ringers by the visionary filmmaker David Cronenberg. Cronenberg's remarkable portfolio of work is renowned for its chilling visuals and disturbing characters, often navigating the crossroads of psychology and technology and delving into the terror intrinsic to the human body. His unique, unsettling films have carved a distinct niche within their genre, with Dead Ringers standing out as one of his most applauded and horrific productions. Dead Ringers provides a cinematic platform for the narrative of Elliot and Beverly Mantle, identical twin brothers and gynecologists based in New York. These characters are portrayed as fictionalized versions of the real-life Marcus brothers. Set against the backdrop of the 1970s, the plot explores the siblings' rivalry as they wrestle with their individual identities and the balance of power in their codependent relationship. Despite their professional success, the brothers lead lives marked by decadence and excessive drug use. Their practice of switching places to deceive and seduce their female patients ultimately leads their lives down a destructive path. The film traces their downward spiral into madness as each brother embarks on a psychotic journey to create terrifying medical instruments for deeply personal and horrifying reasons, spurred by drug-induced hallucinations. Cronenberg's depiction of Elliot and Beverly, while inspired by Stuart and Cyril Marcus, incorporates significant creative liberties, particularly in exploring their tormented psychologies and personal ambitions. The film's portrayal of the brothers' deceptive behaviors, where they impersonate each other to deceive multiple women, starkly contrasts their real lives, which remained relatively uneventful until their tragic end. Renowned actor Jeremy Irons was tasked with the challenging dual role of the Mantle brothers, Although initially provided with separate dressing rooms and costumes for each character, Irons chose a more unified approach, electing to use a single dressing room and merging the wardrobes of both characters. This decision was rooted in the belief that the essence of the story lies in the audience's occasional confusion. In a nuanced approach to embodying both Elliot and Beverly, Jeremy Irons resorted to a physical differentiation that was subtly perceptible, yet impactful. He performed one character with his weight on the balls of his feet and the other with his weight on his heels, thus infusing each with a distinct persona. While Dead Ringers prominently mirrors the lives of Stuart and Cyril Marcus, director Peter Greenaway recounts an intriguing incident where Cronenberg engaged him in a two-hour discussion about his film A Z and Two Knots. This psychological drama, which portrays identical twin zoologists, became a subject of Cronenberg's interest eight months prior to filming the adaptation of Barry Wood's novel. Dead Ringers, despite its emotionally detached demeanor, delves into unsettling questions about the nature of individual identity. It explores a myriad of themes, from eroticism to narcissism, misogyny, and even the dichotomy between masculinity and femininity. The long-standing tradition of cinema often intertwines the themes of medicine and horror with chilling tales of mad scientists, experiments gone awry, perverse caregivers, terrifying instruments, grotesque human anatomy, and horrifying bodily transformations. The reason why narratives revolving around medicine and human anatomy evoke such horror and suspense is simple. They represent the loss of ultimate control, specifically over one's own body. If you can't control your body or what transpires within, you are essentially stripped of control over anything. Twins also form a recurring motif in horror films, with an iconic reference being the Red Rum Sisters from The Shining. As Dead Ringers masterfully blends the themes of medicine and twins, it undeniably qualifies as a horror film. The Marcus Brothers' intertwined lives, which led them to the same academic pursuit, the same addictions, the same downward spiral, 
and ultimately the same tragic end, underline the struggle of forging an individual identity amidst the overpowering bond of kinship that often stunts personal growth. In conclusion, the real-life narrative of the Marcus brothers, once highly respected New York doctors, evolved into a tale of struggle, substance abuse, and untimely demise, inspiring an iconic cult horror classic from one of the most influential genre directors. So, which aspect of the Marcus Brothers story sent shivers down your spine? Are you intrigued to watch Dead Ringers or any of David Cronenberg's other masterpieces? Don't forget to subscribe to The Cabin. Cabin. I don't think so.